Lord be with you. Welcome. Welcome to this service, this Maundy Thursday service, a service of communion that we will share together. And at the beginning of this broadcast, if you've not already done so, I invite you to find bread and find juice or wine and put it on the table around where you're gathered so that when we get to that part in the service when we are saying the great prayer of thanksgiving and the words of institution and inviting one another to eat and drink in God's love, you can then do that yourselves there at home. Pass the elements around and greet one another with the bread of hope and the cup of healing and wholeness. Let us now prepare our hearts to worship God.
I invite you to join me in the call to worship. Jesus said, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. On this day, Christ gave himself into the hands of those who would slay him. On this day, Christ gathered with his disciples in the upper room, took a towel and washed the disciples' feet, showing us that we should do to others as God has done to us. On this day, Christ gave us this holy feast, that we may eat this bread and drink this cup, may here proclaim his holy sacrifice, and live into God's grace for the sake of the world. Let us pray. God of life and death, we wait in hope. God of all the worlds that are, we wait in hope. God of dazzling darkness, we wait in hope. We wait in hope and awe. Amen. Let us join our voices in the prayer of confession. God beyond all names, whose covenant with us is never broken, we confess that we fail to fulfill your will. Though you have bound yourself to us, we will not bind ourselves to you. In Jesus Christ, you serve us freely, but we refuse your love and withhold ourselves from others. We do not love you fully or love one another as you command. In your mercy, forgive and cleanse us. Lead us once again to your table and unite us to Christ, who is the bread of life and the vine from which we grow in grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The peace of Christ be with you. Psalm 116, verses 1 and 2 and 12 through 19. I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. What shall I render to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah! I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. The Gospel lesson for this Monday, Monday Thursday service comes from the Gospel according to John reading from the beginning of the 13th chapter. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, 
son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not, does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is who I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. Oh, the Lamb, the loving Lamb, the Lamb of Calvary, the Oh, <laughs> 
Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever hopes in me will never be thirsty. And anyone who comes to me, I will never drive away. This table that we share this evening, the many tables that you share where you are, always remind us that all are welcome. All are welcome to this great and wonderful feast of our Lord. So come, come all who will be refreshed. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to God, for God is gracious. We give God our thanks and praise. Let us pray. It was the beginning of hope on that night long ago, liberating God, as you prepared to lead your people to freedom. As they readied themselves, you fed them with your unblemished grace, so all sin, pain, and bitterness could be set down and left behind when it was time to follow you. It was the beginning of salvation on that night long ago, servant Lord, as you prepared your disciples for all the things which were to happen. You humbled yourself by washing their feet so they could follow you in service and love to a world which would reject you and hang you on a cross. We tell these stories once again on this night of remembrance, servant's spirit. Here is the bread which gives us life. Here is the cup which slakes our thirst for justice. Here is the towel with which we wipe the tears of the brokenhearted. Here is the basin which cleanses the stains of the world. Prepare us for our journey of discipleship, God in community, holy in one, as we pray as our servant Jesus Christ teaches us, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We remember that on the night of his arrest, gathered with friends and disciples, Jesus took bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it. And he gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant, sealed in me and poured out for you. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim God's healing and wholeness to the end of time. At this time, I invite you to pass the bread and the chalice to partake at home where you are. And every time we gather, not just in our family units, not just 
here in the congregation, but with our brothers and sisters all over the world. We always say, these are the gifts of God for this people of God. And we respond, thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, these gifts of bread and cup have been poured out for us this evening, this evening of great remembrance. We are grateful, and we pray that you would be with us and help us turn that gratitude out on the world. Let us share our gratitude and the great hope that follows it. For we pray these things in Jesus' name. I'll see. 
Bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.